Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use Glaze. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software tests under this video. So let's get started. So in this case, you might be wondering how to start using Glaze. So Glaze is a great app here that you could use to start protecting your art, which in this case, we all know that AI is now really booming and there is a thing that call, or in this case we call generative AI which in this case allows you to generate images or even videos but the problem here is AI is based from actual work which in this case some of, some of the generated content from AI is actually directly from someone's style which is something really unfortunate especially if you're an artist here and you want to protect your art here it may or in this case you may or you're, you might feel powerless against against AI that could actually seamlessly copy your stuff. But the thing here is we could actually use this software here to start protecting our art. Which in this case, if uh, in this case if we use the app here itself, like Glaze here, we use it to uh, on our art, it will actually protect or glaze our art here. So whenever some, or in this case, an AI use, is used on your art, it will actually distort how they view your uh, actual art. But the thing here is you won't notice any difference on your art, but AI will be confused. So this is a great way for you to start protecting your account or in this case your art, just in case like for someone tries to copy your stuff. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to go ahead and just basically just type in glaze. So search for it on Google and from here you should be able to see the uh, glaze here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to downloads. Let's go to gl download Glaze in here. And what we need to do is we need to basically download the app itself. So at the right side, what we need to do is we need to download it itself. So downloads here, let's go to downloads uh, in here. And we want to go to the very bottom here and you can see the following option. So let's go and choose the Windows version here since we're running Windows. And from here, let's just wait for it to basically download or complete the whole download process here so this might take a while so let's just wait for it to download and as you can see right now we've just finished the download itself let's go open up our folder here and what we need to do next is to basically install it let's go ahead and open up this uh, rar file here or zip file and we want to go ahead and basically install it so let's just open it up so as you can see it is what's going to look like let's go open up our folder here and from here, what we need to do next is we need to basically click on the glaze.exe here. So it might take a while for you, or in this case, it for it to extract. So in this case, let's just wait for it to complete. Now, as you can see, we now have glaze up and running. So the thing here is we need to know a few settings here. So first is going to be the define glaze setting section, which in this case allows you to change a few things. So in this case, first is we have intensity. So intensity allows us to change or in this case define the magnitude of changes that you want to basically add here. So the higher the value here, the more protection you have, but also the more the changes will be visible on your artwork. Now, the if the value is lower here, the changes of my in this case might not that different. So meaning you still have your account or your in this case artwork still protected and the values itself or the look itself does not necessarily change so you won't notice the actual change but then again if you set this to higher values it, the change itself might be visible now we also have the render quality here so in this case uh, the duration spent glazing the art so higher can leads to better protection but longer rendering times so again this is more about the uh, protection that you get here so in this case you might want to get the faster here either the default slower or the slowest here which is around four minutes this case, depending on how what value you set here, you should be able to get a certain level of protection. But the higher the values that you set here, the more protection you get. But the more slower it actually uh, gives us an output, and the uh, more noticeable the changes is. So in this case, let's go and click on select here. And from here, we want to go and select our image. For example, I want to select this one, click on open. And from here, what we need to do is we need to click on run glaze. So in this case, this might actually take a while. So in this case, you need to wait for it to complete. And also this, or in this case, Glaze is actually memory extensive. So you might want to close different apps that you, in this case, you have running. So in this case, go ahead and close any apps if you do see this option here or pop up here. 
So as you can see right now, it's now crafting our image. So again, let's go ahead and wait for it to finish. And also by the way, you need to select a specific location where you want to save this. So in this case, you want to click on save as here and choose a location. So mine, I've actually saved this or I'm going to plan to save this under my pictures. But for now, let's just wait for it to complete. So as you can see right now, Glaze has succeeded. So let's go and view our output folder here. So I've saved this in my pictures folder. Let's go and open it up. And from here, you should be able to see the image. So this is actually from a uh, the artist Van Gogh here. This is the Starry Night painting. So this is the glaze version. So just to give you an idea, I'm going to also go to my downloads here and open up the original. So this is the original. This is the glaze version. Original. So you don't notice the difference here, which is something really cool if you want to protect your images. Just to give you a comparison. So in this case, yeah. So in this case, that's how you use the Glaze uh, app here. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.